Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Santa is coming a little early this year. And why do I say that? Well, because AKTX is already paying off the team, right? It is so great to see. We have so much, again, profit already. And uh, I am excited to see what's going to be coming on up today. We got a lot to talk about. We have a lot to go on. And uh, I'm excited to see what is going to be, you know, the hot stock of the day. You know, right now it's obviously AKTX, but hey, it is anyone's game and there's a lot to be coming on up. If you have missed out on AKTX, another big play may be right around the corner. So there is a lot of big time potential. Let's dive into our morning newsletter. Let's see what we have and let's go over absolutely everything. So good morning. I didn't have too much time to type things out and that was just because I was trading AKTX live. Um, you know, AKTX, I made a $775 profit. We're going to go over that in one second. But again, today is Cyber Monday, ladies and gentlemen. The Deckmar Trades textbook is done. It is complete. You guys have all the slides from every single lesson we have done. And our options boot camp is now available as well. I have not put the first part of uh, day one and day two in the video library yet. But again, on Cyber Monday, you guys get the 15 option strategies along with the slides. Um, so they're yours for you to keep. We did not go over the 15 option strategies as those are for the boot camp only. Uh, or excuse me, those are for um, Cyber Monday only. Also, little heads up, guys. The first 100 purchases of either A, uh, the options boot camp, or B, the textbook slides, will come with a 100% free ultimate trading course. The ultimate trading course is valued over $700. And if you guys, again, go ahead, check this out right now and get a, a textbook, 
get options boot camp or anything included today you guys will get an ultimate training course 100 percent for free this is the biggest deal yet so again make sure you guys go check it out the arrow all the information is right here in this link it is one of the cheapest most affordable deals we have ever had and also over 700 dollars of content of the ultimate training courses included for the first 100 purchases we're about 35 purchases deep so far so there's about 65 spots left until again we're not giving any more ultimate trading courses out so again do not wait do not hesitate because again those will probably fill up probably by i would say 11 o'clock or so those would be all gone all right so um you know that's my guess at least but you know make sure you guys take advantage of the textbook we have never had a textbook before this is the first time we've ever had this with brand new information brand new slides make sure you guys go check out that awesome material if you guys did not uh get a little bit of a glimpse of it i did post it yesterday on my uh, twitter on my instagram on my facebook and there's a small video going over everything that's included so make sure you guys go check that out as well now today what do we have guys aktx the money maker guys and that's 775 dollars that i was able to profit on this play if looking at aktx again i know most of you guys were here for it but i hopped in the moment i saw this press release come out 831 you can see i got in right here at 831 i got out about three minutes later with a 775 dollar profit what cracks me up guys is you're able to make you know i i've made 99 percent of people in the world uh don't make 775 dollars you know throughout the whole entire day i was able to do it in three minutes and the best thing is people are making more money than me in chat right what other job what other you know career is going to give you this opportunity to get paid within minutes and literally go out and enjoy your day right you know i'm here all day no matter what i you know i love doing this i love sh streaming i love talking to you guys i love you know being able to work with you and you know see what's going to come up because there could be more money you know coming up uh, very soon but you know if i'm you potentially and you just bank 775 dollars it's nine in the morning you could literally go back to bed you could go out and enjoy your day. You can go out to your regular nine to five now with a, uh, with a $775 profit already in your bank account, right? That is so awesome and so great. And that's why stock trading is such an amazing privilege. You know, it's an opportunity, but it's more of a privilege that we're allowed to do this, right? It's great. So how was I able to make this profit on AKTX? You know, the number two top gainer in this market. All I did was watch the news streamer. Guys, I am streaming the same news streamer that I am using. All I did was, again, right at 8.30, I was looking at the press releases. 8.30, any keywords? No. 8.30, any keywords? No. 8.30, any keywords? 8.30, any keywords? 8.30, 8.30, any keywords, right? What did I see? 8.30 and 31 seconds. AKTX, 10 million in flow, talks about pivotal phase three. I click it. Again, I check it out. And it says right here, we have a 100% uh, safety study. You know, it's showing 100% independence. We have phase three, which is one of the biggest keywords that we can look for on our hot press release list, right? Everyone has this press release list. If you guys don't have this press release list, get ready. Your boy's about to post it right here. Boom, <laughs> right? So again, top, you know, top word on a, a three stars right here is what? Phase three. So we have our phase three um, on our um, AKTX. And also talking about positive phase three studies, as again, it's showing 100% study, right, on its independence. We also have this italics bold, which is absolutely great, right? So AKTX had its pivotal phase three studies, 100% study shows transfusion independence and all this italics bold. Immediately, I knew again that what I had to do was just to get in on this play, right? Uh, how did I get in on this play? There was an order for 10,000 shares being sold at 205. It was on the ask for uh, 10,000 shares. I said, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy 2,000 shares out of that. When you were buying in pre-market, how are you guys supposed to get in? Right? You guys want to buy on the ask because buying on the bid, you don't get filled right away. If you see a hot press release come out, just buy the ask and get in right away. And you know what? People are going to get in and keep pushing up those profits, right? So I'm not trying to, you know, be greedy and put a bid order and not get filled. When I see positive phase three trials, when I see a stock that comes out with, you know, anything along these lines and I'm one of the first ones to see it, right? I'm just trying to get in ASAP.
because I know there's going to be hundreds to thousands of people looking to push up those profits even more, right? So what am I doing? I notice again the stocks go on a nice big, uh, starting to you know uh, get a little bit of movement. I just buy the ask as I know a lot of people are going to be buying that play, right? So that's how I got in. I bought the ask. There's a ten thousand share order. I bought two thousand shares of it. The stock ripped on up to two fifty. That's where I started locking in my profits, seven hundred and seventy five bucks. If I kept holding, I would have had clearly uh, at least like a fifteen hundred dollar day, maybe all the way up towards around two thousand dollars if I held it all the way up towards around three oh five. Right, so I got out a little bit early, but I'm not going to complain with $775 in profit. Right. Also, little side note, guys, if you guys need help with this, go to the video library, and there is again, and type in pre-market. So what would I watch? Pre-market buying strategy. Look at this video right here. Pre-market buying strategy. This is the video that you guys want to check out if, um, if you guys uh, are a little confused on the best way. Uh, to get involved, of course, with um, you know getting in early on these stocks, okay. So very important. AKTX right now is starting to get a little bit of a pullback, um, and we probably are going to want to sit back on this play right now, not force anything. So give me one second because AKTX starting to fall, and I want to make sure again everyone's just aware of that play. So again, AKTX starting to come back down right here. Maybe able to get a little bit of a dip buy, right? Maybe able to get a little bit of a dip buy on AKTX, but it is right below that support line. So we do want to be careful on this play. Right now, I'm not in on anything. Right now, I'm not in on anything. Right now, I'm not forcing anything, not putting myself in any sort of position to lose. I'm waiting for the day to open, and then I'm going to go after some plays. But AKTX has been the best mob play as, as of now. It is the number three top gainer in the market, and that may make you say, well, Deck, that's the number three top gainer in the market. What's number one? What's number two? Well, our number one stock is going to be ASLN. Our number two stock is going to be BIMI. Let's go over these plays because we already know AKTX has a lot of potential. Even though the stock is having a pullback, this could be dip by areas. If nothing else goes on, people are probably going to flood back to AKTX. we got a lot to go over, so let's get into it. Number one, again, AKTX, phase three trials, already went over that play, starting to get a little bit weak, possible dip buys. Let's go up towards number one and number two right here of ASLN and BIMI. ASLN, what's the reasoning behind this play? Well, ASLN, guys, did come out with positive preliminary data. So when we have ASLN right here, we are talking about having positive preliminary data. And that is always a great thing, right? What's our key, a big key word? Positive data. Anything positive is always going to bring in some good hype. Three-star word, positive, right? So positive data is going to bring in some hype. ASLN is having an 88% gap up at this time. It's on the bottom level too, so you guys can watch it. And we have a very slight, very slight higher low, slight little uptrend right here, right? It's not the best thing in the world, but we do have something going for it. If ASLN could ever break through 750, that's where you'd start seeing some momentum. So ASLN is trying to build a little bit of higher lows. Break of 750 is where that stock could get some momentum and start taking on off. The thing about ASLN, guys, is it's been a hot stock for the, about the past week now. You could see Wednesday, nice little pop. Tuesday, nice, or excuse me, Thursday, nice big spike. And then on Friday, nice big spike. And excuse me, the stock market was closed on Thursday. So this is actually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? That we had a nice little spike on ASLN. ASLN was actually just a quick morning ripper if you guys were here on Friday. ASLN went from $3, spiked to $7, and then just came crashing down throughout the day. And again, the market closed um, right around like 1 o'clock. I know a lot of people weren't here on Fridays. I popped in for like a moment to see if anything was going on. I saw a rapid holding it down. He was doing a great job. Um, so I wasn't really here too much on Friday. Uh, scanners were up and running, but hey, we're back now ready to rock and roll. And again, shout out to Rapid for holding down the chat on Friday. Awesome work. All right. Um, so what do we have on ASLN? What do we want to look at? Do we have a positive press release? Yes, we do have a positive credible press release. Do we have a good chart setup? Yes, we have continuation. There's a lot of people aware of ASLN because it's been moving so nicely the past three days. ASLN is also the number one top gainer in the market. <laughs> What's my concern? My concern would be 27 million in float. My concern is it doesn't look like there's that much activity towards this play right now. What I like about it was the continuation, the good, um, the good press release, and the fact that this can spike. I mean, look at the past chart history pattern on this. 
this can spike if the mob moves into it. It's just right now we don't have the mob moving into it. Right? So we'll see if we can break through 750. Break of 750 is where things would get exciting. Right? Break of 750 is where we'd see a lot of big time ripping. Break of 750 is where we see a lot of momentum. So keep your eyes peeled on ASLN over there. All right? All right, so what else do we have? B-I-M-I. Uh, this play, as you guys can see, is a previous spiker. It may just be trying to get a little bit of a bounce play off of its spike. But the thing that I don't like about BIMI just off the rip right here is that we do have, again, 50-day moving average resistance and 200-day moving average resistance. Right now, the stock is currently at 350. The 200-day moving average at 357. The 50-day moving average at 335. So if it ever goes below 335, I would say BIMI is going to be done. Because BI, a BIMI is going to be below the 50-day moving average, below the 200-day moving average, and those are going to be very strong resistance lines. Um, I need to check, is there anything really that great with BIMI's press release? December 2nd, it says it's entered into an MOU to acquire uh, Chang'an Gonzen technology. So it's entering basically an agreement to acquire this new technology. Okay, that's a decent press release. I like it. So again, decent press release right here. It would really come down, if you guys are interested on BIMI, it really comes down to if it can break and stay above that 200-day moving average, okay? So if it can break that 357 mark and stay above 357, BIMI has potential. If it cannot stay above 357, it's going to have some trouble. If it falls below 335, 50-day moving average, it's done because it's not going to be able to break the 50-day and 200-day moving average, Okay. So it's really 357, gets above it, great, stays above it, great. If it goes below it, it's going to have a little bit of trouble towards that play. Okay? AKTX, we already gone over, right? That's been our big money maker today. That was the one that I already made $775 off of. And again, AKTX, this is one with uh, the phase three data. This has probably the most mob towards it. The mob stands for the majority of buyers. And we'll see if this is going to be able to continue to move on up. All right, so we'll see if this is going to be able to continue to move on up. We'll see if this is going to be able to continue to spike um, and get any sort of ripping and running on this play. So AKTX, we definitely want to see if this is going to be able to uh, continue to move. Small little bounce off that 260. $3 is going to be a tough resistance line. If it does start like collapsing as well, if you're like, Deck, if this thing dumps on off, you can also get a bounce play at the 200-day moving average at 230. Guys, okay, so this would be a 200-day moving average at around the 230 mark. Shout out to you guys, though. I know you guys are just logging in for Money Monday, but to already see this, $60 AKTX, $1,383. Most Connie, Crazy Legs, 50. Life of Sig, 300. Melissa, 25. Cal Kit, 385. Jeff, you know, quick 20 bucks. Beach Gal, 76. Zildjian Fan, 100. Scott James, 173. Kent, 351. Platinum Trader, 524. Uh, myself, 775. Gypsy, 350. Davey, 400. Trade Life, 205. Awaska, $6,000 on TVIX. My first real profit. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Cam, uh, Cam CMB, uh, 1,720. The day hasn't even started yet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right? The day hasn't even opened yet, and we're already seeing this. Welcome to December. Right? It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Profits are everywhere. So again, you know, right now, AKTX, we have a lot of, you know, opportunity, um, you know, on the rest of the day. And I am looking, of course, for another trade today, um, even though I've already gone, you know, one for one. I'll see if I can, you know, push that up towards around a thousand dollar gain, but I don't want to get too crazy since I already locked in some money. Now, these are the top plays. Again, these are the top plays, ASLN, AKTX, BIMI, right? If I had to put them in order, AKTX is number one, ASLN is number two, BIMI is number three. What else do we want to be focusing on? Well, there are some slow and consistent plays, right? I was trading today, so I didn't have enough time to type everything out. But what we do have here is continuation, right? So what are our continuation plays? Number one, CLVS, right? CLVS, look at the continuation, guys. This has almost been a month long of profiting. Right, as this stock has gone from November 330 all the way up towards 1610 now. The big issue with CLVS is just that, again, it's pretty overbought as an 88 on the RSI, which means it is rather over um, overbought. An 88 on the RSI, but hey, this thing has been moving up 
for a uh, whole month now in the past week, and it's starting to get very, very hot, right? What else have we had? ASLN, again, number one top gainer. Uh, we already talked about this one. This one was hot on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, right? Friday, this one started getting some good momentum towards it. ASLN. We also have o, uh, ORMP. Look at Monday hot, Tuesday hot, Wednesday hot, Friday hot. $5 top resistance on this play, right? And again, this is right here. If you guys are saying, can, where am I getting this from? Morning newsletter, continuation, right? Our hot news on the day, the best one is we talked about the mob plays, AKTX. And then we also have some low float stocks that have some news towards it. So again, just maybe some stocks you want to keep on the back burner. We have YUMA. Right, YUMA came out with a press release this morning, and EYEG. Both these plays aren't really getting too much momentum. You can see EYEG not really too much momentum, and YUMA not too much momentum. But let's just check out these press releases just so you guys can see them. YUMA came out with a restructuring process. Now, again, restructuring is not really the greatest thing in the world, but it is, again, it's a negative and a positive. Why is it a negative? Why is it a positive? Well, because when we have a restructuring pro uh, process, it usually means that something's wrong, right? If we're like restructuring or doing a new business plan, it means the first one didn't work out, right? But regardless, it is a low flow stock with news. We also have EYEG, which came out with additional positive data. So this would be like, you know, if you, if we already had our positive data, but we just came out with a little bit extra, right? You know, that's like, you know, imagine getting a whole bunch of presents on your birthday, and then your parents are like, wait, there's one more present. You know, it's a good feeling, so it's, you know, definitely on the, uh, on the better side, but it's not really getting too much momentum right now, right? So, uh, EYEG, we're going to keep this one on watch to see if there's any sort of momentum. Yeah, most likely, again, if you guys are in on TVIX, little heads up, TVIX, uh, if you guys are in on this play, uh, yeah, your profits are probably not what they seem right now. Little heads up. You know, TVIX did have a reverse stock split. So your profits, if you guys are up a ton, are probably not what they seem um, at this time. So yeah, William, you're 100% correct on that. Thank you for reminding me on TVIX. Uh, TVIX, again, this was at $8 or $7 the other day, right? This is now at $61. The stock didn't gap up. You know, yeah, the stock didn't gap up $73. Um, so I, I apologize, you know, if you guys think you guys are. I'm not trying to put a, a downer on your day. <laughs> uh, but, again, the stock didn't gap up, you know, $53 overnight. Uh, the stock is, again, having a reverse stock split, which means, again, they're taking out shares so, uh, so the stock's price can change. So if you guys are up a ton on TVIX, it's going to update on your broker soon, and if you guys have a thousand shares, you're only going to have about a hundred shares. You're most likely going to have the same profit that you had when you went to sleep on Friday, right? So just a little, just a little heads up for you about that on TVIX. You know, your profits right now may not be what they seem at the moment. Your broker is probably going to update that. <laughs> yeah, so. Just uh, just want to make sure you're aware on why TBIX is up towards 61 bucks now, reverse stock split. But hey, maybe it'll come back to eight dollars in the near future, right? We could scoop that thing on up, you know, all the way back on down there. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what we get. Um, so what do we have here, guys? TRPX, TRPX starting trying to get a little bit of momentum. Let's see, TRPX. TRPX, December 2nd, announced the continued development of its cannabis based treatment. Okay, so continued development. All right, so what stocks are we going to be looking at? Let me type this out right here. Stocks, again, stocks to watch, stocks to focus on. What are we going to look at? AKTX. What are you going to look at? ASLN. What are we going to look at? BIMI. We want to look at those continuation plays. CLVS, ASLN, we already have, and ORMP, right? We also want to watch little side note when I'm, you know, kind of blanking out because it didn't do anything today. B way, B W A Y. Keep this on watch. B way, B W A Y. As this stock did come out with successful results on its phase three trials, talking about primary and secondary endpoints have been achieved. That's great. That's big news, guys. The only thing that kind of hurts it is that the company intends to meet with FDA shortly and potential clearance pathway. So 
so it intends to meet with the FDA, right? You know how many girls back in high school told me they intended to meet up with me at the movie theater and never showed up? <laughs> a lot. You know why? Because they didn't want to go out with me. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. But again, get a way to think about it. Also, again, the word potential. You guys know I hate the word potential, right? And with the word potential, you could put that in front of anything. It doesn't really mean, um, you know, now you guys could see the word potential, you know, it doesn't really do anything, but it could be a lie as well, right? So, but what we do have here is successful results in primary and secondary endpoints achieved, right? So B way still could be one that could take on off. This stock is, I believe, right around 10 million in flow. And if it starts, you know, breaking $11, I would keep it on watch for an $11 break. So I do want to keep that on watch. So let's take a little bit of a chat and vote. See which one you guys are liking the best. See which one you guys think we should focus on at the bell. Leave it up to the chat. So what stock will do the best today? All right, so which one's going to do the best today? Is it going to be number one, ASLN? Number one top gainer continuation does have positive data, right? TRPX, I'm putting TRPX right here. Just came out with the press release over on TRPX, excuse me. This one just popped up uh, on its continued development. TRPX just popped up as the number one top gainer right here. AKTX, that was where the mob was this morning, had positive phase three trials, right? We also have BIMI, right? We have continuation on a CLVS, and we also have ORMP continuation. So everyone, go ahead, cast your vote. Let's see where everyone is at right now. And we'll give you guys a second right there. So everyone, cast your vote if you guys have not yet. Side note, guys, I'm checking it right now. We are currently at... 47 we only have again we only have f about 53 left uh of free ultimate trading courses as you guys know today is cyber monday decmar trades textbook our first ever textbook we put out and the option boot camp slides with 15 different option strategies the first 100 purchases also will receive a free ultimate trading guide with uh which is worth over 600 dollars it is absolutely free if you guys get the textbook or the options boot camp. We have now, again, just crossed about 50 of them. So there's only 50 left. And again, it's only 930. This will probably be done with by, I would say, 11 or so. So again, if you guys are interested on this, we only have 50 left of um, the ultimate trading course, which is free. You guys can always get the textbook. But again, ultimate trading course, over $600. We're only giving a, a next out to the next 50 people who purchase it. So a little heads up right here. Yeah, but again, if you actually if you click uh, stage two or option two, um, once you get to the option two, it will say all the prices at the very bottom. It is again. Don't worry, you're not. Uh, it's not going to be anything in insane. Uh, it's not six hundred dollars or you know for the ultimate trading course. That all again is included with the textbook and all that information. So again, only fifty left at this point. Now let's uh, get our new scanners up and let's see what everyone has voted on. All right, everyone cast your vote if you guys have not in five, four, three, two, and one. Share the results. Stop the poll. AKTX is the winner. Yeah, again, AKTX right here is the winner. So we're going to put that as number one, and TRPX is number two. Lee 64 awesome. You ordered your textbook this morning as soon as you woke up. Awesome job. If you need any help with anything, Lee, always send me an email. Again, I always give you guys priority of, you know, getting anything that you guys need right away as, uh, you know, you purchase the textbook. So, again, I appreciate the support. And, again, if you need anything, send me an email. I'll be happy to help. So, let's see what we have here, guys. Market is now live. We are open. Let's see where the mob goes. Let's see where the action goes. Let's see where the activity heads towards. Right now, AKTX is currently sitting right around this 250 mark. I want to see if anything's going to start getting that uh, volume towards it. ORMP, guys, starting to get a little continuation. 
ORMP trying to get a little bit of continuation at this time. And again, this stock has had about five green days in a row. Very overbought, but it did just break $5. So let's see if ORMP is going to be able to hold that $5 mark and start moving on up a little bit. I know, you know, Rapid's looking at CLVS, which is also one that's, you know, been a little bit of continuation. Also, our back burner play, guys. Our back burner play is going to be BYAW in case that ever came up to $11. Okay, that's the one that's a little bit iffy, but does have the positive phase three trials. I am keeping that on my back burner list in case that ever came up towards $11 or so we could possibly get some hype towards it. So right now we're really looking for the first stock with a 20 count to determine where the momentum is going to be heading. I'm already one for one on the day if you guys are just logging on. Again, I made $775 this morning in the matter of three minutes. Again, Santa Claus is coming to town a little bit early, right? December 2nd, and we're already getting those Christmas profits. This end of the, uh, this last month of the year is one of the hottest as every trader and every business is trying to finish off well. Just like, again, at the start of the year, every trader and every business is trying to start the new year well. So you're going to see hot press releases as traders try to push their, or excuse me, hot press releases as businesses try to push their profits up as they put out, again, very great press releases to end off 2019. Just like traders are going to be buying a lot as they want to get that last big gain in. Same exact thing at the start of the year. A lot of hot press releases to start 2020 off strong and a lot of big buying from traders as traders try to push up these nice big profits. So again, the end of the year is usually a crazy time. And that's why, again, I'm not going to hesitate, you know, on a lot of days, especially in pre-market, especially in pre-market, guys. You know, this morning, I, as I do, I wake up at 6.50 every single morning, get the scanners up, usually around like 6.55. And again, the hot press release this morning came out at 8.30, about an hour ago. And already, again, I'm, you know, making that nice profit. Right now, again, ISR, number one top gainer, ISR. BIMI, nothing going on there, number two. AKTX, nothing going on there as number three. NBY, nothing yet. BRN, nothing yet. ORMP, trying to fight $5, nothing yet. KOD, a little bit more of a mid-cap play. I know Yama, probably Iggy, probably Rapid could definitely look over on KOD. That stock trying to get a little bit of activity. Right, that stock's down from $35 to $47. Also a possible like options play if you guys were ever interested in that. Right, so that may get a little bit of hype. I'll put that on the bottom level too, just because that's moving. And we're still looking for our first 20 count of the day. We're still looking for our first 20 count of the day. GLG is trying to move on up, and that also has some continuation. So GLG also has a little bit of continuation, is slowly trying to move on up. ORMP trying to get some hype towards it. So let's see for our first 20 count. Uh, first 20 count, guys. See the high of the day momentum scanner? Notice it says counts right here, and it says 14, 2, 6, 5. This shows how many high of the day touches it has. So when a stock has 20, it usually shows that's where the volume has moved into. All right? So we usually look to determine on where the mob is by, you know, the high of the day momentum scanner. Because a stock can't hit the high, uh, hit high of the days without showing up on the high of the day momentum scanner. Usually, when it hits 20 cents worth or 20 high of the count, uh, high of the day, it usually shows that's where the mob's moving into. So very, very important to see where you know volume's going to be, you know, heading. There's no orders right now, so I'm guessing KOD is halted. Yeah, KOD, um, you know, it's currently halted at this time. And also, again, if you guys are interested on KLD, again, ST, make sure you're putting an order yep, uh, or some sort of uh, alert behind your uh, your ticker. B-Way guy's starting to move up a little bit. There's B-Way. There's B-Way right there. So that stock's starting to move up a little bit. That's going to have $11 resistance. If it ever broke $11, I'll look for an entry on B-Way. So if that ever broke through $11, I'd look for an entry on B-Way at the $11 break. But other than that, I probably just a little too risky. But that does have positive phase three data. So that's why I do want to uh, that's why I do watch it. ASLN. ASLN just shot off the cannon, guys. ASLN 
this stock just is about to get halted. This one just looked like it got shot out of a cannon. This was the number one top gainer in pre-market. Right? This is about to get halted. ASLN, yep, ASLN just got halted. This was, again, the number one top gainer in pre-market. Um, not sure why it's not showing up on the penny stock top gainers, top losers, but this was one that you guys voted on ASLN number three. Again, you guys could see the poll is still up. AKTX is number one. TRPX is number two. ASLN is number three. That one is currently halted. So we have KOD and ASLN both halted. ASLN, if you're saying deck, why is this one on up? Well, this was one of the ones that we talked about with continuation. And also ASLN right here also had ASLN. This stock, ASLN, also had positive preliminary data. So this one had positive preliminary data, just got halted at 818. What's your target? This is going to be an 875 target on ASLN. All right, so again, ASLN, it may gap up above that or, you know, around that area. But let's see, ASLN halted 875 target. So halted 875 target right here. And because we know the power of 875, 875 usually brings in um, a very strong resistance line. So that's usually where people are always trying to push that stock up to, right around that 875-ish mark. So we're going to see if this is going to be able to continue to move on up, be able to get any sort of hype for us, any sort of nice momentum. And then start, you know, keep on going even more from there. Again, good, nice rip so far. Again, we're starting to get a little bit of action here. So ASLN, let's see where this is going to be opening up at. We know how fast this one can move. And how do we know how fast this one can move? Because of uh, seeing the stock last week, it went from $0.69 cents to $2.91. As you can see that before, the uh, right here, the stock went from 140 all the way up towards around 380 And then we went from $3 all the way up to $7. This stock has also gone from 670 all the way up to 818. Now, ASLN, I believe, is like a, a more of a bigger float stock, but this thing moves like crazy. Uh, the float is 26 million. So ASLN is a 26 million in float stock. But as you guys can see right here, ASLN stock soars on heavy volume after rocketing nearly ninefold the past week. You can also see eight hours ago, it came out with positive preliminary data. So ASLN, positive preliminary data. Now, What's the main issue, right? What's the main issue with ASLN? Well, look at the past chart history pattern. Every single time ASLN spiked, what else do we see? A long upper shadow. I mean, look on Friday. It went from $3 all the way up to $7, but then came all the way back down to $3.80. The day before that, it went from $1.30 to $4. It came back down to $2.30. Two days before that, it went from $0.68 cents to three dollars and came back down to 170. So what does that tell you? Uh, you know, let's look on Friday's day. Friday, look back right here, guys. This stock spiked very hard and then gave everything back. So what does that tell you on ASLN? ASLN, it's a money maker, but it's a play that you have to buy most likely right out of the hold if you want to buy this because the longer you wait, the stronger, uh, the better chance you have of buying at the top and this thing possibly dumping back down on you. The past three spikes have spiked multiple dollars and has given everything back. So if you guys are interested on getting in on ASLN, you guys are going to mo most likely want to get in right after that hold or have a dip buy at maybe you know eight dollars and look to sell it maybe up towards eight seventy five or so. Okay. So I think eight seventy five would be a nice target for you guys to see if this could you know be able to continue to move on up and for you guys to you know be able to get any sort of. Uh, you know, nice ripping on this play. So we'll see if this stock is going to be able to get any sort of spiking towards it. Uh, we'll see where it gaps up, but 875 would be my target if I were you. KOD starting to get a little insane. KOD, yeah, back. That is, again, on the uh, the um, bottom level two right here. And then KOD, that stock's getting a little bit crazy. A lot of these stocks are getting a little wild over here. Merry Christmas. Again, you know, right now if you're saying, Deck, what's the stock you're looking at? I'm looking at ASLN. I want to see again, 875 would be your main target if you guys are looking for a play there. This is going to get unholted in about 30 seconds over on ASLN. It looks like we're already going to have a big gap up, 
If it gaps up towards around like 858, it's a little bit tough to pull the trigger because, again, 875 is kind of where I think the target's going to be. You may see a little bit of a $9 touch. This is opening up, guys, ASLN in about five seconds here. 875 is a target. Let's see. ASLN. ASLN opening up at 7. Ooh, a little bit of a gap down on this play. Okay, so a little bit of a gap down. Let's see if it comes back up towards around $8. Starts getting a little bit of a break. Starts getting any sort of activity. I'm sitting out of this one right now. You know, this had a little gap down, a little shocking right here. Let's see if it can hold for a second. Let's see if this can hold $8. Support is back down to $7.50. If you are in on this play, it's still the same target of $8.75 if you're in on this play. But I'm not in on this play yet because that was a little shocking to me, seeing a little bit of a gap down. Not touching this one right now because um, I don't want to put myself in that position. I was really close to buying S A ASLN, 500 shares I wanted to get. And again, you can see P&L, zero out of zero. I was very close to, again, buying this one. But look what's happening. See, what w did we just talk about? The big upper shadow. As fast as the stock spikes is as fast as it goes back down. Now it's halted on the sell side, right? Look at this. Look, a, look at basically this pump and dump. Basically straight on up. Look at this, straight on down. And how did we know that this was going to happen eventually? Is just look at the past right history pattern. Straight on up, straight on down. These long upper shadows show that the stock was at this point but couldn't hold it. Was at this point and couldn't hold it. The upper shadows kind of give it away. And if the stock gapped up, I was going to look to 875. That's what I wanted. But the moment it opened up and I saw it drop, I was like, wait a minute, I'm not touching that. Right? So, yeah, ASLN, staying away from that one right now, was about to pull the trigger on that one. As you guys can see, but zero, zero, zero. Nothing in on that play right now. Nothing in on that play because I was very close. But again, 875, it was not touched because it came straight down. And I'm happy it came straight down because it had a gap up. I was about to go. <laughs> right now, KOD. KOD still halted. All right, so KOD is still halted at this time. And let's check on K KOD. What's the reasoning behind that play? I know a lot of people are interested on KOD. And that stock is getting, you know, some heat towards it. Ow! So do we have any sort of reason on KOD? I'm looking on Yahoo Finance. I don't see anything. KOD, December 2nd. Uh, December 2nd, 6 a.m. Announces sale of future royalties for $225 million. Okay, so that's why the stock is running. So, again, the, stock, the company is getting $225 million. Right? Keyword to look for in hot press releases, any large sum of money. If you're getting $225 million, you know, you're, you're, that's really good for the company. So, KOD right here, $34 all the way up to 60 Let's put KOD on the top right now. I know a lot of traders looking at that play. I put ASLN on the bottom, and we'll see if we get any sort of momentum or any stock, you know, starts creeping on up. Right now, the only trade I am in, or excuse me, was in on this time, was where? It was right here, AKTX this morning. This morning, I was able to make $775. I've talked about that a few times, but I was already paid out today. One of my biggest gains, you know, probably for about the past few weeks, $775 on AKTX. I'll do a recap on that when things slow down. Already did a little bit of a recap, but I got in right as the stock opened on up. That was at $2. Again, the stock opened up right at $205. I got in right at $205, and that was just because I was watching the news streamer. In at 205, out at 240, $775 profit. So again, right now, that's the only play I've gotten in so far. One for one on the day. Close to pulling ASLN. KOD is back. KOD is back. And KOD, this may be one of those plays that even if you buy, remember I bought like 60 shares and I was able to make like nine, uh, like $400. Hey, if KOD starts ripping hard and breaks through 60 bucks, I may do another, like, maybe the 60 shares as a fun trade and see if that goes crazy. But right now, that stock is starting to have a little bit of a pullback on KOD. So KOD is starting to have a little bit of a pullback right now. So let's see if that's going to be able to hold. Our uh, last consolidation point was 47. 47.50 was the last consolidation point. ASLN, I do not know the exact time, but I believe it's going to be right around 9.47. 9.47 is what I believe. I'm not 100% sure. AK, hit us with it. Yeah, 9.47 on the dot. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, right around there. KOD, guys, is unhalted, and we're keeping this one on watch to see if KOD is going to be able to get any sort of volume or any sort of momentum. So any sort of volume, any sort of momentum. 
KOD starting again. Look for that break of sixty dollars right here. Starting to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of hype. Sixty dollars trying to hold. I'm gonna see if this can U shape. Right now I'm sitting on my hands, but hey, what I'm excited about is again the start of this month. The start of the month, pit traders are getting excited. It's the end of the year. It's December. People want to make that Christmas money. People want to make that 2019 final push money. People are trying to, again, finish off their portfolios at an absolute high, get their last little bit of green. Guys, this whole month, you want to be waking up in pre-market. This whole month, you want to be trading. You want to be getting involved with, but you don't want to be late, right? If you're saying, again, you know, ASLN, that one was a little bit of a bummer. It's just, again, we got to look at past chart history pattern. We have to understand, again, these plays. Again, this morning, AKTX is the best ripper. Just have to be awake. You know, go over to Profits Chat. A lot of people banked on that. You just have to be awake. ONTX looking for a little bit of volume. I know Yama's looking over there. That's, again, a little bit of a penny stock. that has gone about to, uh, 7 cents. ONTX currently at 42%. I want to see where ASLN's going to get uh, uh, come out at. ASLN gets unholted, guys, in five seconds. ASLN, bottom level two. Let's keep it on watch here. I want to see what's going to happen with this play. We are live. ASLN, we are live. Let's see if this can hold or is this going to just be a dump. Look at this. ASLN. <sighs> ASLN. Right back on down. This big upper shadow. Big upper shadow. And if you guys know, again, upper shadows just indicate weakness. Another example of this, if you guys uh, haven't checked this out, is ANY. ANY, this is an easy example. Notice every upper shadow leads to dumping and red. Upper shadow, dump. Upper shadow, dump. It means the stock spiked and couldn't hold. So what do you think the next time you see ANY spike, what are you going to do? The next time you see ANY spike, you're probably going to say, hey, I could buy the stock, but I want to lock in my profits quickly. Because if I don't lock in my profits quickly, it's going to dump right back on down on me. And that's, again, kind of what's going on right here with uh, ASLN. All right, having a little bit of trouble. So we'll see if this play is going to be able to hold on up. But right now, it's still having a little bit of trouble. Not forcing, not putting myself in any sort of position just to lose. I'm really just watching and waiting. See where that penny stock hype's gonna go. I know again we got some penny stock volume over on ONTX. That's starting to have a little bit of a pullback. We're about 18 minutes into the market. Okay, ERN, KERN trying to get a little volume. That was a, a previous top gainer. Again, all I have so far is one trade underneath my belt so far today. One trade underneath my belt so far today. ASLN, I, I'm not taking the risk on that. The thing is, if I do hop in, it's going to be very small. And why am I saying that? Well, I already have 775 bucks. I don't need much more today. Uh, Antoni, um, GLG, that's a shipper play, I believe it is. Oh, no, that's a China play, commercial credit. GLG getting a little bit of volume. Thank you for putting it on the radar. Again, this is just like some continuation plays. You know, what have we been seeing? Continuation plays. Those have kind of been running, you know, for swing trades. I mean, if it's GLG, right? GLG, possible nice swing trade, just like it could possibly turn into CLVS, right? Which could be a possible another night of possibly good swing trades, which could be the same exact thing as ORMP, which possibly could be another night of very nice swing trades, right? We have seen so many swing trades, you know, on GLG, CLVS, ORMP. Um, traders were even looking at ASLN. Right, as these have been just slowly moving on up, continuation plays day after day being green, green, green. So let's make sure we are focused on these plays, we are watching them, we are fully aware of them. Right now, I'm just looking to see, you know, what's going to come up on the high of the day momentum scanner. I, I want to get another trade in, but I want to make sure it's an easy play. I want to make sure I'm coming out on top. I want to make sure I'm locking in that money. Okay, 
Now KOD still trying to fight that $60 mark. KOD, a little bit of a bull flag pattern. Still trying to fight that $60 mark right here. Just see if we're going to start getting any sort of, you know, main hype. You know, we still have KOD. Just watching B-Way. B-Way trying to get a little bit of popping up towards around that, um, that like, 1040-ish mark. If B-Way, again, never crosses $11, that would prove to me that that thing is, you know, hot. And then that's, that's where I could get in. Maybe if that thing ever broke through $11. Because it did talk about reaching its endpoints on its phase three, which is huge. Which is why I still, again, have a little bit of a watch on that play. But, again, not a play you want to hop in right now. ISR, ISR also one of those continuation plays. We're seeing a lot of just you know nice little continuation plays right now. Nine fifty two or about twenty two minutes into the market, some good volume so far this month, right? Only first uh first trading day of the month, but some good volume, some good activity, some good hype. TK up 300 bucks. Good job. Great work. I'm just kind of working th our way through right here. I'm looking for something that's going to. Again, BRN, little continuation. ISR, little continuation. GLG, continuation. Some of these top gainers right here are just continuation plays. ISR, about five green days in a row. GLG, about, you know, ten, uh, nine out of ten are green days, right? BRN about three green days. SNOA hopping on up, looking for that next 20 count. All right, looking for that next 20 count. See where the hype's gonna go. How's AKTX? Again, that was our money maker this morning. That's starting to give a lot back. This could be a possible bounce play on AKTX. If you guys do have the funds, a little heads up, right here at the price of 232, this is the 200 day moving average. 232, right where it's at right now. You guys do have the 200-day moving average, and you guys can see that on the daily chart right here, this red line, and you may be able to get a bounce back up towards around 250. So if you're looking for something very slow and something that most likely isn't just going to dump or anything, um, it, it, that it could be a possible play for you. I would have a stop loss probably near 224 to 223, but if you want to look for an entry, maybe at 230 to 231, you may be able to get a slow and steady bounce back up towards around that 240-ish mark from AKTX as we are again, you know, falling, got a little bit of a bounce right here and could get its way back up towards around 260 as this line is trying to hold. Right now, KOD, KOD just still ripping. I know a lot of traders still just focused on that play. And again, a little bit more pricey. You know, I'm not trying to ignore KOD at all. It's just a little bit more pricey. I know not everyone can afford that, but hey, if there's, you know, some contracts on that, what did we learn in last week's boot camp, right? What did we learn in last week's boot camp? Hey, you guys can get involved with these plays, right? Look for a quick little call contract. The stock's spiking hard. You're going to be able to get in that nice, um, be able to get in the money, right? And then be able to sell your contract. So KOD... Maybe again, one year, one of those plays to possibly be looking at. Also, if you want to wait for KOD to top out, you can look for a put option on that one. No options available on KOD is what I'm seeing right now. So, you know, just look, you know, no options or no contracts available on KOD that I see. But uh, I wanted to kind of throw that out to be like, hey, you know what? This one could be. But now see, looking at this, there are no options available. Excuse me. But uh, that is, again, kind of, you know, when, when we have plays like this, when we're seeing spikes that are going on this nice move, it is a little bit more pricier. But, hey, sometimes if there are options or contracts available, that would be a great, you know, um, you know a great option to do. Well, I'm going to be putting the option boot camps in most likely this week. 
Um, again, and that would be day one and day two, going over the fundamentals and going over how to do options. Um, and then the option strategy is uh, on the slides for today's Cyber Monday. For today's Cyber Monday. Guys, we just crossed over 63 Cyber Monday purchases of the textbook. So what does that leave us with right here? We got about 36 or 37 uh, free ultimate trading courses. So only 37 left ultimate trading courses, guys. So again, today's Deckmar Trades textbook and options boot camp. Either one of these, if you want the textbook or the options boot camp, will come with a free $600 ultimate trading course. So again, free ultimate trading course, $600, only 37 left. We're going through those. I told you, they're probably going to be all gone by around 11 o'clock. So again, get yourself a textbook. That has never been done before by Deckmar Trades. This is our first textbook slides ever. And I'll let you know when there's maybe only a few left in case you guys are really waiting for that last moment. But right now, again, you guys have about 37 left. Okay, ERN trying to get a little momentum. And I'm still looking for that next play. Again, I'm one for one on the day, up $750 on pre-market trading. So let's see if there's anything else that's going to be able to pay me today. And it's really, again, what I'm seeing is KOD as the number one play. Right? I mean, you do have a slow and steady mover on KERN. Slow and steady mover on KERN. I know Rap has been loving KERN for like the past month now. Right now it's 9.58, we're about 30 minutes in. Best trade so far, you know, during the actual day probably has been KOD, but I understand if you guys are penny stock traders or traders of smaller accounts, it's not the easiest one to get involved with, right? KOD, small little gap down. So I know if, again, you guys have a smaller account, and KOD is not the, really the best option just because how big it is, and to be able to make a profit, you're really going to have to hold for, you know, a few dollars. But again, we do have kind of the slow little climbers. KERN, slow little climber. GLG, slow little climber. All right? We've been seeing a couple of the slow little climbers day after day. How's CLVS holding on up? A little bit of red, but this has been a slow little climber. How's ORMP holding on up? A little bit of red. This has been a slow and steady climber. All right now, just looking for that pop. I mean... Really, we haven't really seen that penny stock momentum. It feels like a lot of people are just still pushing to KOD. Still just looks like a lot of people are still just running over to KOD at this time. And still trying to get that, that $70 break. A little bit of an upper shadow right here. I mean, if you want to do a fun little trade on KOD, hey, maybe throw, throw a thousand shares. Uh, you know, maybe throw a thousand bucks out there. And just try to get, you know, a few shares. And, you know, if it rips all the way up to $100, I'm sure you're going to get paid, right? But it's going to be it's gonna be something probably pretty tiny. So, I mean, KOD, if you want to have a fun little trade, you know, the stock's ripping, the stock's running. Hey, if you want to throw out, you know, 50 shares to 80 shares and the stock goes on a nice rip and run, you'll get paid out for sure. But, you know, uh, this is kind of where, you know, the most momentum is currently at at this moment. KOD still again, you know, moving. Continuation again. We got support back, back, uh, back down towards around sixty dollars. Support is back down towards around sixty dollars. KOD been fighting that seventy dollar mark for a little bit. Bounce off that sixty dollar mark could be a nice area. But right now, KOD is just trying to be a slow and steady little mover on today.
Right now, KOD, a little bit of a pullback. Again, our high of the day so far was KOD 72.15. You can see that on the breakout scanner. Also, a little side note. You know, also a little side note, guys. The mid-candle breakout pattern. How many people actually use the mid-candle breakout pattern? Not really too many. So I'm actually going to change this week the mid-candle breakout pattern into our options breakout, uh, uh, breakout scanner. So if you guys are interested in options and contracts, I am going to... Um, uh, change the mid candle breakout pattern to the options breakout uh, scanner, which is going to be a little bit bigger finding stocks that are moving up on high of the day that have options available towards them. So I'm going to change the mid candle breakout scanner to our options breakout scanner. And that's going to be uh, coming up, you know, this week I'm going to change that for you. SPY starting to fall. Yeah, SPY. This is probably the biggest red day we've seen on the SPY for a little bit. Look at that. The SPY starting to have a little bit of a pullback. All right? 314 down to 312. I mean, that's not really even that big of a red day. We've seen much worse. But for what the SPY has been for about the past two months of just going up, 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 up. All right? This is definitely coming back on. You know, it's been falling pretty good right here. Right now, AQST, a little bit of a pop, a little bit of a climb over there, over on AQST. But again, you know, there hasn't really been a, a stock that's got me super excited so far today, other than, you know, my trade that I made of um, my trade on AKTX this morning. So I'm one for one with a $775 profit. I'm happy with my gain right now. I don't really need to put myself in a position just to lose, but I'm happy to commentate and, you know, keep you guys aware on any possible options out there. You know, right now we're having, you know, AK, uh, AQTS. The thing is, I don't want you guys buying late to plate. I mean, we see AQST go from 875 to up towards around 975. Let's see if this is going to hold or if it's just going to come right back on down, right? I'll put AQST, AQST on the bottom level too. Just like, again, what we saw this morning, ASLN. ASLN went from 630, shot up to 820. It went from 820 right back down to 630. I don't want, again, you know, people getting stuck into a play like that. So, again, that's why I'm a little hesitant. Are we seeing good volume? Absolutely. Are we seeing nice spikes? Absolutely. Are we seeing nice momentum? Absolutely. But the thing is, a lot of these plays are spiking, and then we aren't getting that second push. It's getting the first leg on up. But we're not getting the second leg on up. We have your AQST. Again, kind of what I'm talking about. It went from $9 up to $9.80. Now AQST, again, pull back back down towards around $8.90. KOD still fighting. KOD is the most consistent play we've seen so far today. KOD has been the most consistent play we have seen so far today. And the thing is, you know, I, I like today. I, I, I think there's a lot of big time potential today. I'm just not seeing um, I'm just not seeing that that next leg. Under trading, large foot squeezes, SRA, ADAP. Thank you, boss. Again, I'll make sure I add those, especially for, uh, as you guys know, every Monday we put together our weekly watch list. When do we put together our weekly watch list, guys? We do that every afternoon on Monday. I'm also going to be adding, again, the options uh, boot camp lesson videos in on the video library, day one and day two. And then, again, the 15 option strategies you guys can pick up today in the Deck Mart Trades textbook. Right now, just kind of looking around, seeing where we're at. Nice start to this month. Good money Monday. And again, shout out to everyone who's made some nice profits today. You guys absolutely deserve them. 
over in Profits Chat. $375 Roll Tide, Percy $800 CT. Seems like the main winner during the actual market, KOD, KOD, CT, 252 uh, K, uh, KOD, SC, you're getting 300 KOD. A lot of KOD, and then other than that, it was like this morning with AKTX, right? Then all the profits were AKTX in pre-market. And look at all the big profits were AKTX this morning. So that's where everyone is going towards AKTX over in Profit Shack. Great work. So we'll see if we're going to be able to get any sort of uh, kind of like mob play where everyone runs into it. But it may not happen until maybe like 1030 or so. I will do a recap on my trade in about 20 minutes if we don't don't start seeing any sort of momentum. But I want to make sure we don't miss anything if it, nothing starts popping on off. It's still you know early. We still have a lot of potential kicking off today. It's Money Monday. We've had a four-day weekend. I'm ready to get back to it. IMRN starting to set itself up you know a little bit nice. Give IMRN about two to three more days, guys. If that 200-day moving average keeps coming lower and we have this higher low starting to build, IMRN may get pretty spicy in the next few days. I think IMRN, that's going to be one I want to be putting on my back burner list. I'm just going to write that down because that's going to be one that's going to be uh, going on our nice, you know, watch list uh, later on today. Also, a little side note, some stocks that spiked last week, right? Let's see if these are starting to hold on up or, or are these starting to become big time shorts, right? Stocks that spiked last week. What do we have right here? ARAV. ARAV trying to move up a little bit, some $10 resistance. Again, that was a pretty big $25 spike in pre-market. DFFN needs to break through 50 cents. What about KZIA? KZIA could get a little bounce play coming up uh, off that 13 EMA. CGIX, a little bit of a mid-candle breakout pattern on CGIX, possibly for tomorrow. KRTX, maybe a little bit of a bounce play off the 13 EMA. And MYOV, still, MYOV is still holding. I think MYOV is still a nice play where that play can still consistently be you know, working its way on up. Again, make sure you guys both, make sure you're putting an alert behind your ticker, you know, CANF. We always want to be aware of it, but we want to know, you know, what's going on with it. You know, CANF, possible red to green move coming up. ADXS, possible squeeze pattern. I'm not seeing any squeeze because there's no, you know, squeeze on ADX, but ADXS does have, you know, a nice little higher low pattern. So... Higher low pattern, building higher lows, great sign, but nothing squeezing it. Now, again, you don't need a squeeze for every breakout. A higher low pattern is great. So you can still write that down as a good pattern. But again, nothing squeezing on the top side. Yep, I, again, we're adding that price right now towards um, the Cyber Monday, but if you guys just fill out your name, uh, then again, the price will, uh, all the prices will come up. Little heads up for you guys. So again, once you, um, so Goodwill, once uh, you just fill out your name in option one, everything comes up in option two. So if you go all the way to the bottom, right after you fill out your name in option one for uh, the textbook and the free ultimate.